It has been three months since Madalena Kojikari was last seen by anyone other than her parents. Cornelius police investigators say they are still working this case aggressively. Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Cindy Heiberger is live in Cornelius tonight and tells us what we know and what is still to come. Sydney. Yeah, Brian, missing person signs are still posted outside the Cornelius Police Department and several local businesses. Now, months have gone by since this story first broke into the news cycle, but still, this town has not forgotten. The search for 11 year old Madalena Kojikari has taken investigators from land to the water. Three months ago, Madalena was seen getting off her school bus from Bailey Middle School. It's the last time anyone other than her parents have seen her. It's terrible. It's, it's something that should not happen, and it's disgusting. Police were last seen searching the Kojikari home on February 15th. The details of that search still have not been released. But when police searched the home in December, we learned they were looking for blood, hair, and evidence of a kidnapping. They also took three cell phones. This is a serious case of a child whose parents clearly are not telling us everything they know. As the search continues with not much new information, Madalena's community still has not forgotten about her. And I do believe the police and everybody involved is working as hard as they can, but sometimes it's not as simple. Her mom and stepfather, both in jail for failing to report her missing, are set to reappear in court on March 2nd. Yeah, you might remember Madalena's mother and stepfather did not report her missing to Madalena's school until three weeks after they say they last saw her. And during that time, we know Madalena's stepfather took a trip to visit his family in Michigan and her mother took a trip to the Asheville area. I'm reporting live in Cornelia, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.